I first got Photoshop when I was a teenager and started noodling around with that. I made like fonts and textures. At the time, my hands shook, so I couldn't take photos in focus to save my life. And so it was an absolute joke that I was going to be a professional photographer. I'm a junkie for textures and images only because they're what I need to do what's in my head. I'll sit there and just slide through background files. Oh, what if I do this? And what if I cut up this? And if I morph and twist this? Because every single thing is capable of becoming so many other things. And there's so much experimentation, so there's so much stuff that goes into composites for me that nobody ever sees. Often with composites, it's a lot of the same problems, you know, oh, the perspective wasn't right, or the lens distortion wasn't right, or this effect I thought was going to work and it doesn't work. And this is, this is literally the grind and the details of making really awesome, realistic composites. It's literally just not knowing if something's going to work or not, but doing it anyways. Because it's about having the skills and the tools and then maximizing every single piece as far as it'll go. I want to remix the way people think about Photoshop tools. I want, to, I want people to go, oh, this is how it's normally used, now it's commonly used, but you can also do A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I mean, Photoshop is such a huge program and you can do so much with all these tools. I'm not this, this person that just like flies out of the gate and it's perfect. You know, that, that's not mastery. You know, I, I just, I have a technique that works for me. You have to be willing to be uncomfortable. You have to be willing to be rejected by the artwork, by yourself, by your peers. I don't know how many times I've like sat there, like broken down crying <laughs> and just being like, fuck this, I'm so done. And you give it a couple days and then you go, okay, maybe I'm not done. You know, it's, it's the mindset behind becoming great, whatever that means for you, is that you just don't quit. That's what matters.